Are you ready to think of the future? To think about somebody else? It may be your children's children and not just yourself. There's a kingdom below the ocean and it stretches beyond the sun. There is more than we can imagine for everyone think about the children oh the children yeah it was david bowie who who introduced me to the music of Fanny. Uh, he, had, he was always introducing me to a lot of interesting things that I'd never heard of, because he was that kind of, kind of person. And he, uh, <clears throat> you know, he said, you know, have you ever heard of this? There was an all-female group, you know, in, in the early 70s named Fanny. You know, they played in England, and, you know, and they were amazing. I think they were one of the best female bands ever. I was like, well, I don't know how that could have passed by me. I never, I had never heard of them, you know. So, I immediately went out to sort of look them up, and I actually didn't have any of the music. I had no initially no access to finding the, the music. It wasn't easy to get a CD or, uh, you know, to stream them or whatever. I mean, at that time we weren't streaming, so this was quite a few years ago. And eventually, I just started to do my own research and and went on eBay and you know, found all of the old vinyl, all the vinyl that I could find, and started to really listen to this music. And I was actually kind of stunned because, you know, my, my only, uh, until that point, I think my only reference for female artists, female musicians that were in, in mainstream popular music and who were, you know, you know, very well known were, you know, more of the kind of girl bands like, uh, I guess, you know, the, the uh, uh, what's it, the Bangles or uh, the Runaways, you know, not to take anything from Joan Jett and those guys because they were a great band. Um, and, but Fanny was really different when I, I was like, wow, they, they, they were definitely kind of v very, very accomplished music musicians and and songwriters as well, and I and once I started to listen to the music and get into it, I real and then I could immediately see why Bowie would say that this was one of the best bands that that he loved and certainly one of the best female bands that that ever had existed, because they were definitely right in that league with all of the the artists like Bowie. Like Elton John, you know, uh, who were making, who were writing that kind of music, they were. I mean, you would. Uh, they they even you know were working with the same producers and you know the, the same arrangers and they were just you know they they had there was really no musical distinction in terms of their ability to to exist and to not compete but just to just to, to, to be on the same level as all of the, all of the male bands that were happening. Um, the only thing was that they were female. And, and that has been a hindrance in some respects at that time and still today in not only music but just in, in living in the world, basically. However, you know, this is an Fanny is an example of that being overcome. And and the un, still the unfortunate thing is that they they aren't as known as they should be, but I think that is changing, and and I'm certainly going to do my part to make that uh, uh, a reality. And then you know I sort of learned so much from uh, listening, to, especially to Jean as well as June, but because uh, I started off as a guitar player, so you know Jean. June is incredible as a guitar player. It's just unbelievable, actually. 
And then, you know, I started listening to Gene as well, and I thought, wow. And, and I also then found out, of course, working with David Bowie and working with Earl Slick eventually, that he was uh, married to Gene. And uh, then I started to talk to Earl about it, and I said, wow, I didn't realize that your ex-wife and the mother of your kids was in Fanny. I had no idea. And he was like, yeah, she's a great bass player. And I was like, that, no question. And, you know, there are a lot of um, women now who are... are uh, known for their virtuosity and, and, and their musicianship on bass and guitar and, and, and playing with great artists like Jeff Beck and you know different people like that. But um, I think that you know June and Jean and Nikki and Alice are very um, uh, they were way ahead of the game <laughs> in terms of role models of people of, for women to listen to. I mean, the first women I listened to were, that I thought were incredible were Anne and Nancy Wilson of Heart because they were the first ones to, you know, to come out. They were fronting a, a male band, but it was their band, and they were obviously accomplished musicians. Mm -hmm. But you know, the 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 women from of Fanny are, you know, definitely uh, a force to be reckoned with in terms of. Uh, of their ability and their um, musicianship and their professionalism and their creativity. They were just, it was a really incredible band. I can't begin to tell you how disappointed I am that I can't be there this afternoon to share in this amazing event. But I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to June, Jean, Nikki, Alice, and Brie for testing the waters, for challenging the status quo of the male-dominated industry, and most especially for setting a standard of excellence and integrity, not just for women, but for all musicians to learn from and to be inspired by. Fanny, I'm glad I found you. And it's my honor to welcome to the stage Fanny.